Hey guys, um, this is a demonstration video of the uh, My Fly Dream AAT automatic antenna tracker. Um, I just got this unit mounted it on a tripod, put my big Yagi 1.2 gigahertz antenna on it, um, plugged it in to the three cell micro. I did add this digital voltmeter. Because when I fly a I like to see the uh, voltage level of the, this light bulb powering this entire system. Um, that's about it. Uh, plugging it in was uh, rather simple, according to the instructions. You have power plug and video plug from the AAT unit itself to the video receiver. I mounted my video receiver right here on the antenna so it can move together with the antenna and uh, this connection will not be interrupted and uh, that's about it so this unit has a test mode um, let's activate that and show you how it works with the first click of the test button the antenna should be uh, facing north with zero degrees angle let's see one click and the antenna is now facing north now check this out if I rotate the tripod, the antenna would come back to the north position. So obviously, it's got a hiding hole system inside with some sort of a compass, probably, because it knows north exactly. Now, the next click of the test button right here uh, should yield a direction of east with a 30 degree angle. Let's see. So the antenna is now facing east, 30 degrees up. Next click is south with again zero degrees. So we have south, zero degrees on my Yagi. And the last click, or one before last, is west with 60 degrees. So now we're facing west. 60 degrees again this is the test mode to make sure everything works properly looks perfect right out of the box rather simple actually next click we'll take it out of test mode and now it's in uh, angle lock mode this means that this angle will be maintained 30 degrees but I can rotate uh, freely to any direction I would like so if I go to fly an FPV bottle that does not have the tiller OSD to match this uh, set and I don't want to use a tracker, I'll just use this mode antenna angle 30 degrees up it should be good and I can aim it at the direction of light, let's say that way and that's it, now again rather simple uh, one thing I do want to go through is the antenna mounting, usually you would mount your antenna here uh, most people use a patch antenna on one of these which is flat so it's very easy to mount here and it does not have a big moment of inertia when attached on this side now this Yagi is very big it's 50 or 60 centimeters long it's made of aluminum it's not very light so it's got a very big moment of inertia so what I had to do is figure out the CG the center of gravity of the actual antenna which is around here and then mount that uh, in front of the servo spline which is uh, the center of rotation. So I just use a couple of wooden blocks here uh, bolted to the original metal frame and then with a couple of zip ties as you can clearly see in the video I'm holding the antenna it is very rigid it does not go anywhere uh, and the antenna is mounted on the side in order for the pivot point to be in the center of gravity of the antenna and to take down loads from the servo. So that's about it for now um, I'm really impressed with this unit. I think that my fly dream uh, has done an incredible job uh, developing this unit. It's very easy to plug in, very easy to work with, very intuitive. It seems to do a job very well. Uh, so the next test will be on the field, so I'll see you guys then.